the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We're here at the Magic Hat Artifactory in South of Burlington, Vermont, for Heavy Fest. speed to this to my mirror. <laughs> Heavy Fest is a benefit for Big Heavy World, a local nonprofit organization that supports local Vermont musicians and documents their music. Hey everybody, you're at Heavy Fest with Wayland Speed. Woo! Heavy Fest! I think it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, presented by the Magic Cat Artifactory to raise money for Big Heavy World. Uh, so we have six live bands performing, a barbecue. We also brewed a, a special cask beer called Big Heavy Wee uh, just for the special occasion. Chilling in the sun where we all become one. Drinking beer, soda and water, we all have fun. The music scene here is, it's, it's alive and well. And that's how music should be. It should be live, wonderful and awesome. As the first festival of the year, um, this is great. I want to give a round of applause for the weather. Right? Everybody knows everybody, and it's a big music family. Yeah, it was killer. Halloween's in the South War Fair, killed it. songs left for you. Big Heavy is a nonprofit label. They run uh, The Radiator. It kind of grew into basically uh, an encyclopedia that encompasses Vermont and Vermont music. It's kind of like Vermont's personal version of iTunes. It's pretty incredible if you ever have the chance to go down and, and look at their library. Come check out Big Heavy World and we can show you the bands that were around when when we were your age. Like Big Heavy World is like something that keeps a music scene pure and original and like real. They play a, a hugely important role, even if a lot of people don't necessarily immediately realize it. Big Heavy World's getting out there, then the scene is getting out there, and Vermont's getting out there, and that's what's important. It was uh, organized by a guy who I called Big Heavy Jim. Jim Lockridge is someone that does it solely from an appreciation standpoint. Glorious brainchild of Jim. Jim's been doing it for 15 years, and you know, most of the time he's not taking home a paycheck, and he's there every day. So I think he cares, and that means a lot to me. Jim does so many things. You'll get him on camera, hopefully. Um, it's like Sasquatch. Jim Lockridge as Sasquatch. Big Heavy World is generally youth-run, youth-organized. They work on no money at all, um, mostly high school and college interns. I worked for Big Heavy World um, right after I got out of high school and worked there for almost Ten years, I think. You go into the radiator. It's like this whole aura of like good stuff going on with kids of all ages. And a lot of high school kids get a chance to go in and get involved in the music business, especially opening up doors to, to young people. Well, now we're gonna help you get out there. Now we're gonna help you tour. Are you a high school band? Do you have your license? That's all you need. Go on tour. It's going across the country. It has seen the Pacific Ocean. We drove it right to the Pacific Ocean on purpose. It's climbed mountains. It's gone through the desert, and it's slept on the side of the road happily. It's getting a makeover right now. My emptiness is rooted in the yesteryears of man. Like in my song of love upon the distant sun. Magic Hat has always had, you know, very strong ties to music and the arts, as does Big Heavy World. So uh, we like to support nonprofits that support music and theater and arts. When you come to Vermont, you drink the local beer and then but then you can go across anywhere in the East Coast and still get that beer. We produce 4,600 gallons of beer at one time, and we brew about 20 batches a week. So when we add the yeast, it turns all the sugars we created into alcohol and CO2. So this is a sacred room, the fermentation room. We search for the most unique ingredient to put in a beer, like our wacko beer that's brewed with beets. Just like our love for the arts, we believe that beer is, is an art form in itself. Bring it on. <laughs> I see that we all survived the rapture. 
I actually did get a little bit nervous this morning at 8.30 when it started thundering, lightning, and pouring rain. We just went through eight days of rain, and now it's bright and sunny. Yeah. Can't end it today. Yeah. If the rapture means being at a festival with a lot of people working together to support uh, an awesome place like Big Heavy, they give me rapture every effing day. If I have to go out listening to Eloise in the Sabar Fair, I'll die a happy man. Today was Judgment Day, the rapture, but we're still standing here in Vermont. Plus, it's not raining. We'll get stuck around with you again real soon. The whole video is going to be Jim, 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 but like, no Jim! Right, it's like, oh, is this Jim? Run up to somebody else's night, like, you run up and it's actually a scarecrow. Uh, very, is that Jim on stage? No, you can superimpose him in various areas. Oh, I, I had a Jim sighting. No, you didn't. Really. He doesn't exist, but he does. And, and he, he exists in all the good things he does. Hi, this is Grace Potter reminding you to thank your farmers, especially those from Cabot Creamery.